Mr. Chuck Storm. I'm here with Rob King of the King Family Vineyards. Rob, how are you? Not too bad, thanks, Chuck. Good to see you. So we're going to talk a little bit today about uh, kind of life in the vineyard because that's where we're standing right now. Sure. Correct? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah it all begins here in the vineyard. It's, um, you know, there's a saying that uh, great wine is made in the vineyard and it's absolutely true. Uh, Winemakers cannot create flavors in a tank or a barrel. The flavors have to be developed here in the vineyard. I don't see grapes, leaves, anything. I, I'm, I, it's just, I don't, where do they come from? Where did you come from? You came from your mother's womb, I right? Did, yeah. Yes. Well, it's sort of the same thing. God, I hope you, I came from there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jack, it begins here. This is a young grapevine. It's from uh, Europe. Wow. And uh, I thought maybe I could show you uh, the very beginning. Right. Okay. Wow, I had it the opposite way. I really did. You wanted to plant it like that. I did because that looks nice. It looks like a tree. tree it's gonna right. No, no, no. Spit no. Out. Grapes, grapes. This is the varietal okay. up here. And what they do is they grow the rootstock, this piece here, for a year, get it up to size. And then in the nursery, they take a bud and they slice the rootstock and they put the bud into the skin right. of the rootstock right here. Right. And it grows for a year. I was told this is actually an exceptional quality of vine. When really? I when we first planted I was pretty shocked at what I was paying good money for. So great. Let let's let's look at this guy and and, okay. and give it a whirl here. Cause... Well we'll plant it right back here, but the first thing Chuck you do is like oh. this is pretty scraggly out it, here. It does look a little scra scraggly. Yeah that's right. So you, it's sort of like giving it a haircut. So you gotta ah. cut all this off. And the reason you're doing that is two things. Because this was probably dug four months ago, the end of those roots, they've dried out. Oh, okay. You know, just with air. Right. And they have died. The other thing that happens when you do that trimming is um, you change the hormonal balance within the root system. And what happens is there's a signal that it's sort of like growing up in puberty. Yeah. You know, you want to get larger. Right? right. Okay. That was my goal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, so you get all kinds of little hair roots off the side of here, and it just stimulates growth. I see. And that's what it's all about. That's when I right? got my chest hair. Okay, well, why don't we dig a hole? Okay, that'd be great. And uh, you hang on to that for I'll me, hang on okay? to it. Really, it's really simple. If the vine lives for a year, it's, it does basically turn into a weed. It's very, very difficult to kill. Really? So, yeah, but a lot of care goes into planting a vine. You know, you, you gotta do it right. Um, now, I want, what I want you to do, Chuck, okay. is uh, I've prepared the hole. Okay. Now, I want you to bury it. Okay, so yeah. I, I think, and, and I'm, I'm a pro at this, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which you can see, I would put that uh, right in the middle. It's conceivable there'll be more water over in this side of the plant okay. at one point. Right. Maybe next year it'll be on this side. Or there's different nutrient levels in the soil. Okay. So you want to have the roots growing in as big of area as possible. So it can drink that water. And the nutrients. Ah. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what it is. So, you, you, so, so the you, soil is like mama's milk, basically. Uh, it's actually better. Really? Yeah, it's better. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It is better. Could I drink this? <laughs> well, would you like to taste some? <laughs> is it really? Do they do that? Sure, they do. If it's like a mechanic checking the oil, and they taste the oil. That's it's right. The same oh yeah, thing. sure. Yeah. Yeah. You, oh really? You did it too, man. Yeah. You're eating mm. dirt. You know, that is glorious. I personally believe one of the more important things is you got to have the right attitude when you're out planting mm -hmm. and taking care of any plant. Right. If you're angry and uptight, it isn't going to grow as well. Good wine ultimately begins in the soil. And so you're trying to grow in its infancy. These are babes, right? Right. Um, still juvenile. You're trying to grow a good root system. Right. Because three or four years from now, when it's producing the grapes, what the roots are pulling out of the soil is what gives the quality to the grape, ah. which is the quality of the wine. Right. So our soils have got a lot of vigor between the water and the nutrients. Right. And so that's, uh, that's sort of key on how we manage our vineyard. Right. Is, and that'd be completely different if we were on sound. Sure. Oh, absolutely. My knees are killing me. Yeah. How right. are yours? Oh, fine, you, you, fine. 
Do you want to go for a jog? Oh, good. Dance. I should dance. <laughs> I do dance, actually. Um, you look at this and you go, wine? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. where are we right now in this stage? Uh, well, in about two weeks, uh, Chuck, you will actually see out of this bud here a green shoot. Right. About that long. You know, and it'll, and it's in the first small little leaves will start to grow. Right. And when, and it'll, it just keeps going, right, all through the summer. Right. And it'll end up being about three feet long, total wow. growth for the season, right? But when the shoot is about three inches long, mm -hmm. you can actually see the little flower cluster really? start to form, right. which will thus become the cluster of fruit. And uh, that cluster, the stem, uh, will grow out of here. It'll be about that long. But the cluster itself will be about six, seven inches long. So that's, that's big. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so for us as producers is, uh, this is my brother coming, by the way. Hey, <laughs> the tractor. It's beautiful. ATV, actually. Oh, ATV. ATV. I'm tractor. really off it, Yeah, I? right. Yeah. So you've got these, uh, the grapes hanging yeah. there. They're good to go. They're, they're ripe as, as, as ripe can be. Yeah. What's, what's next? You, you collect them, I would assume. Yeah, called yeah. harvesting. Harvesting. Yes, harvesting. harvesting. Yeah, harvesting. pick the crop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's done a lot in the world. Harvesting. Yeah, yeah. Food, food crops generally are harvested. I yes. harvest it safely. That's where I do. Well, we work with uh, our winemaker, Howard Soon. Um, he'll come into the vineyard and probably we'll walk through the vineyard probably five, six times. Wow. And there's sort of, there's quite a multitude of factors that you're looking for mm -hmm. in terms of optimum maturity. Um, you, uh, it, it's, it's all centered around the cluster of grapes, right? Okay. In this case, Merlot, it's got to be a dark purple color. Right. From one end to the other. That makes sense. Um, and then you start looking at the berry itself. You take a berry off right. and you squish it. Really? And uh, you're looking for not water within the berry, but sort of a jelly mass. Like jam. Correct. That's oh, right. Wow. Yeah, hey, you're not doing bad. Thanks. Not bad, right. Within that jelly mass is our seeds. Ah. And the seed color is extremely important. The seeds have got to be a dark brown right. and hard. And if you chew that seed, right. going back to the dirt, right? Yeah, it's yeah. So, your mouth is really important in this whole game. Mm -hmm. Is um, it'll be sort of nutty, nutmeg, really? uh, crunchy. That's a sign of a very mature seed, which equates to a very mature berry. Well, one quick question: When it does go, let's say to that to that vineyard and and or to the uh, the winery, winery, maker. yeah, winery. Thanks, winery. Um, yeah. winery. Winery. I yeah. like that. Winery. 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 Win Winning grapes. Win Winning wine. Wi Drink it. If you like Win it, drink it. Wino. 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 There you go. Hey. Yeah, that's okay. right. Yes. Wino. That's Excellent. good. Yeah, need more of those. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I can. Is <laughs> there a good wine song you know? Uh, n <laughs> not one that you would appreciate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bottle of wine, true to the vine. When you gonna let me get sober? <laughs> Leave me alone. Let me go home. Let me go home and start over. <laughs> Rod King, everybody, thank you so much, Rod. Thanks Appreciate a lot. It. Yeah, come back King again. King Family Vineyard. Yeah. Okay, take thank care. You. All right. Thanks. Bye. All right, well, we've wrapped it up at the King Family Vineyards, and we're on to the wine. I'll see you there. <laughs>